Okay guys, well again, welcome back again to Tech For You. So I just want to do a little review of the Ecobee uh, Lite uh, 3 generation of the uh, smart thermostat. I just actually installed this myself, uh, you know, not too long ago. Um, the reason again why I wanted it, specifically the fact that I control everything remotely, which is fantastic. Um, the reason why you kind of see this right now, the white here, is because I took the old one off. And I just put an adhesive in the bottom here just to kind of hold this. So right now, um, the reason why it's not actually showing me anything else here is because obviously the IR sensor realized that I have a camera there. As soon as I move this, um, it'll show me different information. So I do have the fan on at the moment and it's holding. Uh, there's an app to this as well for the iOS and Android, which works very, very good, very flawless. The tech support on this product is outstanding. Um, they're open uh, pretty good times in terms of obviously office hour times. Um, so basically what we're going to do here, like if I'm correct, um, I'm not sure if it's going to realize that I'm here. So, um, you know, my fan's off. So if I want, I can go to fan on, uh, time and date is there. So now it tells you exactly what's running right now. I only have the fan. I am obviously at home, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, if I were to click. I believe on there. So yeah, you have the auto off, cool and heat. Obviously you don't need anything on right now, so I have it as off. And you get to have your, there you go. So that's a, that's where I'm actually am at the moment, the time frame. So it's about minus four. I don't really need the heat on. I keep pretty warm in my own place. Um, <laughs> so I don't really like to have the heat on, but you know, it gives, it's very responsive in terms of clicking what you need systems hvac sensors if i need a sensor i could put one there uh, schedules i don't really use it doesn't really bother me comfort settings well i can choose on whether when i'm sleeping home away what i want to do as you can see there is a uh, 22 degrees for heat 19.5 for the celsius for the for the cool that's my general general type of you know what I like to be at. So I can save or cancel. Let's go for cancel. The, uh, when I'm sleeping, that's fine. And when we're away, that's what it is when we're away. Let's go back one more time. And vacation. If I go on vacation, this is what it'll be for vacation wise, which is perfect. Let's go back. And we have a little bit more so about settings, so on and so on. So, um, this was actually pretty easy to install because obviously they, the support team that was on the phone with me, they helped me install it or explained to me how to install it. Um, what else can I say? The application is very uh, friendly, very easy to use. It does work with the Amazon um, Echo third generation and my Google as well. So let's see if I can kind of get one of them to do something here. So remotely I'll do... Uh, Let's see here. Hey Google, turn off fan. Sorry, I don't understand. Okay, so let's try it. Alexa, turn off thermostat fan. So they're not understanding, I guess, the request I'm giving them. So let's try something else here. Uh, let's try, hey Google, turn off thermostat. You got it. Changing the thermostat to off. So I don't know if she's going to stop the fan, though. Okay, so I guess not. <laughs> uh, again, this is very new to me, so I'm just learning. Um, what else? So sh they both can do the heat. They both can do the AC and the fan as well when they want to work, but they do it pretty good. Um, it's pretty instant in terms of the heating and cooling itself. So... For the heck of it, I will just tell, I'll say, uh, hey Google, turn on the heat. I'm sorry, there was an error and I'm unable to control your home device. So, um, <laughs> hey Google, turn on thermostat. That mode isn't available for the thermostat. Again, <laughs> she does that way. Alexa, turn on thermostat. So they like to be glitchy once in a while, which is fine. So let's just do heat for now. 
Hey Google, turn thermostat to 22 degrees. You got it. Setting the thermostat to 22 degrees. Okay, so there you go. Hey Google, turn off thermostat. You got it. Changing the thermostat to off. Okay. <laughs> so apparently it does better when it's off. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> it just does. I still want the fan on. It's fine. Um, so it's pretty easy in terms of how to control it, what you want to do. All the other settings will be on the web version. I'm just explaining you guys, you know, um, what it's really going to do here. Uh, obviously you can see the air sensor. So if I'm, I'm pretty sure if I, let's see what happens if I move this away and put the camera here just a little bit. And so usually the weather kind of pops up here when I'm away, when I come up, then it disappears. So the IR will distinguish that. Um, let's see here. So I don't need to have that there. Schedule. Okay, so fan is. And you can see that it's on the Wi-Fi. So that's perfect. It's working on the Wi-Fi. Let's see what else we got here. Um, time, date, connection, advanced settings, you know, test we want to do. Reset, disable control. So, and it's very intuitive in terms of, you know, again, this you can see, it, it's very intuitive in terms of the controls, which I love. Um, I do know the fact that I believe that indicator right there is telling me that I am only using 20% or 27% usage. I'm not 100% sure. I still have to look more into that. If you guys have any idea really what that is indicating in terms of the percentage, let me know in the link below or the comments in the boat, uh, below. Give me an idea what really that's supposed to mean because I'm guessing that because I'm geothermal, it's detecting that you know what I'm saving that much or I'm using that much. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, this is just a basic rev kind of review of what I think about uh, this type of product. Um, I do recommend it. I highly recommend it. If you want something quick, easy, and just works, this does it. Uh, just voice activation, you kind of got to, you know, get working with it in terms of the Echo Dot Generation 3 and the Google Minis or Google Homes or whatever it is, you kind of, you know, um, get used to it. If you don't have to use it, perfect. If not, well, <laughs> this is a thing there. I still have the plastic. That's how new it is for me. Like the plastic is right here. I haven't even taken that off yet. And you can see that it's, uh, you know, <laughs> I just installed it recently. But if you guys have any comments, concerns, questions, you know, let me know the bottom. Uh, if you guys have any feedback on, again, more information about this device, let me know in the, you know, link below. But uh, or in the comments. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for uh, tuning in too. Thank for you. Bye.